Hey guys, welcome back. So I am about to style my bed and take some photos for my Instagram feed. I'm working on a campaign there for my new bedding and I wanted to share some ways that I like to style my bed. I do have a video sharing how I make my bed from start to finish, but I'm not doing that in this video. I just want to share how I style my bed depending on my mood. I'm gonna start off with the minimalist style, which is the look I'm going to do whenever I want to keep my bedding simple. Then I'm gonna work my way up to a more glamorous look. Now today's video is kindly sponsored by Skillshare, which is an online learning community. You can take classes on different topics. There are so many to choose from. I'm currently taking classes on interior photography because like I said, I have to shoot some photos for a campaign and I want my pictures to look as nice as possible. The class I'm in right now is level up your interior photography, how to shoot and edit like a pro. I learned a lot about lighting and Alex Daniloff does a really good job teaching you his tips and tricks on achieving high quality photos. You can find a lot of different classes about interior photography, but this is just one of the classes that I really like. If you need help with editing your photos, you can find classes for that. I like interior decorating classes as well because there's always some Something new to learn. Skillshare is a great place to go for ideas and inspiration. You can explore new skills with classes for every skill level or develop your existing skills. This is also great if you just need to take a refresher course on something, which is what I'm doing now. I do know how to take a pretty decent photo, but there's so much more I want to learn to get me to like that professional level in interior photography because I do love it so much. I love it just as much as I love interior decorating. If you're interested, in Skillshare, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So definitely check that out guys. All right, now moving on to my bedding. The first look is what I like to do when I'm just keeping it simple. I always use the comforter on the bed no matter the season. In the summertime, I don't sleep under it. I just keep it at the end of the bed and I do like to use a quilt I'm not putting one on the bed right now but that's what I like to sleep under because I don't like to be too hot at night so I'll sleep under my top sheet in the quilt and that's good enough for me I'm gonna put the quilt back on the bed when it's done washing but for my photos I need to focus on the duvet cover and the sheets because those items are a part of the campaign I do like to use two sets of pillows the pillowcases I'm using today are opened at the ends so I like to place that side towards the center of the bed I don't like when and the ends are just hanging although you could tuck the bottom in and let the top hang over honestly it's not that big of a deal but because i'm doing a photo shoot i do want everything to look nice and neat normally i would use my pillowcases with the flange on all sides but i just took them off of the bed to wash i'm gonna use one accent pillow in the center of the bed to cover the open ends of the pillowcase and that's how i like to style my bed for a quick and simple look Next step is still a bit simple, but I'm gonna place a throw blanket at the end of the bed. I'm also gonna add two accent pillows this time. Now I'm going to show you how I make my bed when I'm using a quilt to sleep under. I lay my quilt on top of my top sheet and fold them over together. I'm going to increase my pillow count with three accent pillows for this look. I keep the comforter at the end of the bed because I love how cozy it looks. I'm not the biggest fan of flat bedding. I love a fluffy looking comforter. Now my last look is my go-to because I do love having a variety of throw pillows on the bed. I like to use three euro pillows in front of my main pillows. You can't stop right here, but I'm gonna keep going with two 20 by 20 accent pillows. And because I love this little round pillow so much, I'm gonna add it as well. All right, those are some of the ways that I like to style my bed. There are many different ways I can arrange my pillows, but I just wanted to share some of my go-to looks. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. That'll be so, so awesome, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.